a record of the delightful piece they're going to play this evening. A second glance through the looking glass to ponder. Who are you? Who are you? Haptic lab. Haptic labs. Can you scoot back a little? How would you describe so who are your guitar? So who are you? What is happening here? I think it boils down to making art and sharing that art with others. And making art that empowers other people. So I see art as anything. Art could be dance, it could be theater, it could be poetry, it could be writing, it could be photography, it could be painting. And there, I don't think there's any good or bad art. It's only, I only see art as either authentic and genuine and personal or inauthentic and impersonal. I think the more personal you make your art, the more you make about yourself, the more other people could relate with it. Have more faith in what you believe in and stay true to yourself, stay humble in your thinking, and to keep that same beginner's mind, that same passion that you have for photography, because over the years from age 21 to 29, you were told by so many different people that you know what you're saying is wrong, you're stupid, you're overrated, you're overhyped, and you don't know what you're talking about. And over the years, you started to try to take yourself too seriously as a photographer and an individual, but rather, the best is for you to keep that childlike enthusiasm to really not care about what other people say and keep that pure Kim, child's mind alive. Visual artist, so essentially, blogger, the advice I give to you, 21-year-old uh, Eric, is many curiosities and talents. once again, don't doubt and yourself, keep smiling, and for you to have faith in yourself. I think ultimately... I see myself as a philosopher-artist.